Hi and welcome back to the next video. This is video number 16 and here we will do just something uh, for the Angular chat room. So we want to now sort messages in our chat room by the creation date and we want to also display like our own messages on the right side and other messages on the left. So basically like in WhatsApp where we display like the latest messages at the bottom and also my own messages on the right side and other messages on the left. So our story, our structure is as always, first have a look at the video outcome, then read the story for this, and then implement the story and close it. So let's have a quick look to the outcome of this video. So you can see here now when I'm in the chat room and I'm logged in here with Thomas, um, then I can see my own messages displayed on the right and messages from the other user or the other users in this chat room, like for example here Walter, are displayed on the left. Um, and I can also, when I add like a new message, and I send, and then at the moment we have to reload. This is something that we fix in the next videos. We display it here at the bottom. So now we sort like the messages um, by um, the created date. And so we display like the latest message here at the bottom, like in WhatsApp, for example. Here I'm logged in with Walter and here you can see um, we also have like the messages. And now I'm here as Walter on the right side and the messages from Thomas are displayed on the left. So this uh, works nice. Hi, so let's have a short read at our story here for the 16th video. So here we are just doing some minor Angular stuff. So we want to be able to sort the messages in our chat room and we want to display like our own messages on the right side. So the story is very short. As a user, I want to see the messages for a chat room sorted by the date. So I want to have like the latest messages at the bottom. Um, and I also want my own messages to be displayed like on the right side and the others on the left. So like you know from WhatsApp, there's also like the latest message at the bottom um, and your messages are displayed on the right and the messages from other users are displayed on the left. So the acceptance criteria are very simple. We want to sort the messages by the creation date in our chat room and we want to display like their own messages um, on the right side. So let's start implementing. So we are just going to our front end folder. And then we can first go to our authentication service because what we want to do now first maybe is to, to always see who is logged in. So when we start our application here, then we want always to know to see somewhere um, with which user I am logged in. So we can here make something like get logged in user. And for this, we can very easily use the package. So we can go for npm um, angular of o, I think. This is what we have like installed. Oh no, not this, but this here. And this should have like a method to decode the token um, here. So with, with this, we can decode the token. And in the token, we have our user object. So then we can use this. Then, so we can say const decoded token. And then we need here our JWT service. And then we can just say this.jwt service dot decode token. And then this should decode the token for us. And here we can then return like the decoded token dot user. So here we basically return our user. We could then use this, for example, in our private module when we are logged in in our dashboard. In our component, we can then simply say we have here like the user, which is like user interface. And here we have our off service that we have to import. Uh, And then we can say get logged in user. And then we have here our user object. And then we can simply say here after the chat rooms, my chat rooms, we can or we want to display like a small. And here we can just use binding for um, saying logged in as. And then we can say user dot username. And to make it easier, we can for displaying, we can move this here into a span. 
and here we can apply display uh, flex and we can make a flex direction row and we can align the items to the baseline then this should work and also we can give like the small here also a little style margin minus left 15 or 10 pixels and then we should see this so when we now go to our front end and I log in you can now see that I'm logged in as Thomas and now we have here also like Thomas so we have always access to our user object um, which with which user I'm currently logged in so now we can yeah try to like sort all our messages so for this as you remember we have like our let's close all we have here our chat room and then we have our messages um, pagination object and then here um, we give like every single message so we look over our messages so over the items from this um, and then we uh, use them as an input for our chat message component and now we want to sort them before so we can pipe this here and then we can map and here we get a message paginate which is a message paginate interface and then we want to do something so we want to have something like our items and this is our message pagination dot items because it's our pagination object which has items so which is that are all our messages and also has some metadata where we have the page and so on and we want to do something with them so we want to uh, sort them and so we want to like compare to always and here we can say we want to make like a new date from the a dot created at and we can get the time from it and then we can subtract it by the by b so we can say b dot created at and get the time here also and then I think we have to close this here we have to import the map and then we can say we want to from our message message paginate we want the items and we want to override them with the sorted array and then we can simply say return message paginate and then everything should work as before but now our messages should be sorted so that we have like the latest one at the bottom um, yeah. so let's have a quick look how it's going and now you see we have here like the latest messages at the bottom so let me now say um, test video 16 and I send it and when I reload then this should be displayed here at the bottom and now we see we have it displayed here test video 16 so this seems to work fine and now we want to make sure that the messages that I sent as myself so as Thomas should be displayed here on the right and the messages from Walter still stay on the left so for this we can go into our chat message component and here we want here to compare simply um, we have like the message has a user so here the message with user object and we also have like now access um, from everywhere to our user that we are logged in with and then we can simply compare like the id of the user that has written the message and the id of the user that is currently logged in and if uh, he is logged in then we can simply apply like a, a css class and there we can say move to the right side for example or color it um, yeah so this seems to be pretty easy i guess so here we can just use our authentication service again so we say private out service And then we can say out service dot get locked in user. We can also remove at the moment the ng on init from this because we don't need it. And then in our um, 
yeah, our CSS, we could do like have two classes. So let's say for example own container and then we can apply them if like we are the user and here we could say justify content flex end so then we want to display it at the end and we have something like own message where we could say background color light blue we could say align yeah actually i don't need it i don't think that we need it and yeah, let's see what happens and then we have to yeah, wrap this here like in a we can do like a span element our message and then we can use like the angry class and first we can say the style here should be display flex so that then um, we can apply the justify content and then we can use angry class so if like the expression is true um, then we want to add like the class and this class is like the own container and we want to apply it if our message.user.id is the same as our user.id so we can have a quick look now we see messages from thomas are all on the right and walter on the left and when we want to make it like blue we have like here our class for light blue and then we have to apply this here also for our p element so we say ng class and we simply say own what how we named it own message and then when our message dot user dot id is our user dot id and then this should be blue so now you see we have here our blue messages and other messages are gray and we are like in the right order so when we for example now go into private mode and i log in here with walter Um, yeah, so this is like a little bit because we made it like a fixed size. So when we are here now in chat room 13 and I add and uh, Walter is adding another message, message of Walter, then I have to do, do F5 at the moment to reload. Then you see here, this is like my message. And if I go here where I'm logged in with uh, Thomas, then you see here message of Walter. <clears throat> yeah, so this is basically all for this video here at the moment. Um, so now let's have a quick look at our story if we fulfilled everything. So we have now sorted like the messages in our chat room and we are displaying like the own messages on the right side and we also gave them like a light blue color. So this seems to be good and then in the next video we want to make sure that if we like add a new message to the chat room that it gets automatically emitted like an event to all our um, users that are currently connected to this room. So now we can just say git add upper A and we can add a commit message. And now we are here in video 16 and we say um, sort messages in chat room and display own messages on the right side and then we can push it.